Hello YouTubes, we're back today with the uh, UV black light shelf. I want to finish this project up and get it hung on the wall already. Uh, I went ahead and built a shelf out, as you guys can see. It's about, uh, I think, 34, 35 inches long. I used some 2x2s uh, for the cap all the way around. These are old 2x10s I cut down. Uh, I used my little jigsaw, just cut a little pattern in them. Uh, I went ahead and ran a torch over everything uh, before I stained it. I used a black stain on it and just a torch. These are just uh, wooden rivets I got from Amazon that were like, you get 180 pieces for 13 bucks. Uh, I found the hooks at Hobby Lobby. They look kind of uh, handmade with a nice little curl blacksmith looking edge, so I thought those were pretty appropriate for this. And then I went ahead and used brass screws. Um, I like putting brass on the older stuff because it makes it look uh, more vintage and more antique. So the shelf's basically ready to hang. I went ahead and sandblasted everything to get those deep grooves in it. Um, you could also wire wheel it if you wanted to. And then I just beat the hell out of it with uh, a bunch of uh, knives and rasps and axes and everything else I could to just kind of put that time-worn look on it. So the shelf's basically done. I went ahead and did my black light wiring. I'll flip it over and show you guys. Come on, shelf. And that's the back of it. So the back is just a piece of flat half-inch plywood I had laying around. I've got two LED bars that I bought from Amazon. Um, it actually comes in a kit of four. Uh, I'll show it to you guys in a second, but let me turn the light on. And that's them. I went ahead and painted the back, the inside of the shelf with uh, mirror paint that I also got from Hobby Lobby years ago. I bought a can. And that silver just helps bounce the light around. But you can't see it from the side. So let me show you the kit. Um, I'll pull that out and I'll show you what you get for the four lights for $30 at uh, Amazon. It's actually a really cool deal. Okay, so out of the box, this is the set you get from Amazon. You get uh, four of the black light LED bars. Uh, my kit only came with one set of clips to mount, which kind of sucks, so I had to uh, improvise and make my own set for the uh, inside the light to shelf. But you get four bars. You get, uh, I think, four cords if you want to daisy chain the power together. You can put up to six of these black lights, I think, um, in one string. They give you, I think, four different power supply cords. You can set them up how you want if you want to light them individually or all together, uh, strung together. But they're actually pretty bright. Um, and for $30, I don't really think you can beat this kit. I mean, that's what they look like. Roll this one back over. So that's what I'm going to use to light the shelf. So let me get rid of these lights, and then I'll show you the shelf. Okay, now that I had my uh, lighting figured out and the shelf was done uh, and wired for the LEDs, um, I called up my local glass shop. Uh, a friend of mine is an owner. I told him I needed a piece of glass that was 7 inches long by about 30 inches of length on it. This is actual plate glass. It's been tempered. If it does break, it'll shatter into a million little cubes. I don't want big slabs around or anything heavy in case for some odd reason... Uh, this glass broke. So my plan was to put the glass in the shelf, like so. And I want to go ahead, I'm going to rent, cover it with uh, shelf paper. Uh, this stuff, I got a whole big roll of Menards for, I think it was like seven or eight bucks or something like that. I used my uh, rebate money. Always use your rebate money for Menards. That's how you get your free stuff. But other than the paper, uh, the cost of the glass was $40 for that piece of glass to be special cut and made. Um, the shelf itself is all scrap wood and junk. Uh, the lights, the whole light kit I got from uh, Amazon was like $29, bucks, and I still have two light sets left over. Uh, the paper was actually free to me because I used my rebate money for the shelf contact paper, but I think I paid $7 for the whole roll, which is uh, more than enough. I can use it for other projects. So my next part of my plan is to cover this shelf with uh, the contact paper. I want to cut out, lay out my jar design where I want it, cut little holes underneath, mark them, cut out the holes, peel it off, and that way the only light that will come through is underneath the bottle. That way it'll be lit up and it'll show from underneath and there won't be anywhere light else on the show, uh, showing on the wall or on the whole shelf itself. 
Now, if you guys want to do this and want to leave it all open, that's fine. Uh, that would work for you. Um, I just want to see if I can cover all my bottles uh, and have no light coming out except through the bottles only. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this glass. We'll get some paper out. We'll line up the bottles and we'll do some marking and cutting on them. Okay. I went ahead and cleaned the glass real fast. I got a piece of uh, contact paper cut, oversized, it don't matter. Uh, I got, this is the darkest color I could find. It doesn't matter which way it lays on the glass because you're not going to see it. I'm going to set the shelf at eye level so you're not looking down at any lights. Um, that way, the only light that shows through this is what comes through our holes for the potion. So we're going to go ahead and cover this shelf, cover the glass up. It don't have to be perfect. And like I said, you're not going to see the contact paper when it's done. And this backing paper don't want to come off the goddamn paper. All right, here we go. All right. Pull this up. I'm going to work out these air bubbles. And I'm going to come back and I'll show you the shelf uh, when it's all wrapped. All right, so I got uh, the shelf covered. I went ahead and did two layers since I couldn't find uh, black uh, paper at Menards to cover it. It's good to go. So this slide in here in the little lip. And then we'll lay our potions out where I want them. We'll trace them out, cut them. And then we'll hang this thing on the wall and see what it looks like with the lights on. So. Shelf is done. It's ready to go in the uh, in the tray area here and be lit up. So let's go ahead and get some bottles up there. All right. Went ahead and get all my bottles done. You guys saw in the last video. This is a new one. It's a little uh, little grow octopus dollar thing, dollar store grow octopus in pink ink. It's supposed to be fluorescent. I went ahead and molded that skull last time. I put this on top of the green bottle and everything's uh, siliconed in 100% so it won't leak on us. I got this little pink one with the bird skull. Tied it off with a little leather strap. Shake the paint up. Mark him out where he wants to go. I made these little guys up. This is just dipped in plastic dip, which is the stuff you dip your tool handles like pliers and screwdriver handles in. And these were the same thing, same bottle, modern lid. I just hit it with some hemp and put some uh, uh, wood glue around it. it makes like an, almost like a cork feel. And the little skull from the last video, got him siliconed in. Got a bottle, I glued a little E6000, uh, put a spider on there and a chain with just a decorative thumbtack for the top. So I got that bottle decorated up a little bit. I glued a little... Uh, Skull and crossbones, and put a little bit of uh, UV paint in the eye sockets. This guy is good to go and set down on the shelf. So basically now, we just arrange them where we want them. This was my epic fail skull that was uh, all Mod Podge and a, into a, um, a mold that really didn't turn out. But uh, that's blue ink. So we just got to put them where you want them, mark them out, and then we should be good to go. And at any time, if you don't like where your bottles are laid out, you can always... Take a piece of extra paper, cut a patch, and block off the light. Or if you want to rearrange your whole shelf, you can just take all the paper off, put a whole new sheet down, and put your bottles where you want them. And while I was out bottle hunting, I was at Hobby Lobby, and they had a 50% off glass day. And I found some more cool bottles, corks in them. So Hobby Lobby is a great source for little bottles. This guy came with a cork in it. This guy came with a cork in it. And I think all these were like a dollar a piece after... Uh, after the sale price. So I got plenty of bottles more if I want to add. Uh, this guy I got at a thrift store for 50 cents. I got another big beaker for a uh, $1.50 that I can use later. Um, but the glass, little, little glass bottles, man, they're available everywhere. Like I said, this guy was uh, left over at Target for I think five bucks two years ago. I've got to replace the bottom shelf with uh, plexiglass. 
So I can put that somewhere on there, cut it out, and have a light shine up through the bottom. So I got some of those filled with UV ink. So now it's just a matter of setting your bottles where you want them. And again, this guy's heavy. That's why I went with safety glass. Uh, if it does break, it will shatter into a million pieces. And I can tell you I've done it before. It goes everywhere. It literally explodes. So I got my little snake specimen. I want to put him out front somewhere. This is a heavy guy. Need to put him towards the end. A little skull in front since he's short. Let's do some green down here, maybe. Let's divide up. Put some pink down here, maybe. Another green one. I like the blue right here next to the green. Yeah, I got to throw some orange in there. Use the orange. Maybe a little pink since he's short in front. More green. That's too much green on one side. And we should do orange here. This guy at the end. Can't do green next to green. Um, we need more orange. Uh, something like that. And we can always move them around later where we want them. You can mix and match them. You can put books in the middle. It's basically up to you how you do it. But I think that looks kind of good. I can kind of roll them with that. Scoot them back a little bit so there's more room on the shelf. Squeeze them in a little bit. All right, let's rock with that. I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil. I'm going to trace around the bottoms of all these guys so I know where they're at. And then I'll pull them off. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll razor blade out all the squares. I'll cut a little bit to the inside. So I've got some leeway. Just pick that up. Got a little square here. Like I said, if I don't like that placement, I can always just cut a patch, drop it on, move my bottle where I want it. Rearrange it however you want. If you want to do the whole shelf, you just swipe all the paper off and rearrange. So this guy will sit on top of there. And when he's on the shelf, the light should shine through. So I'm going to go ahead and trace out all these bottles. Mark them where they got to be. I'll cut them out. And then uh, I'll show you what we got left after I get everything prepped and ready to go on the shelf. All right, I got the bottles laid out. Um, I went ahead and traced all of them with the pencil. Cut them out with the razor blade, and this cuts through that contact paper just like butter. So that's all you need. Um, if I move the bottles off, this is what you end up with. And at any time, you can change them around or add more bottles and cut out a new hole for them or rearrange them however you want. And all you got to do is take the contact paper off and put new contact paper on and then mark your holes where you want them. Um, I've seen people do this with uh, wooden tables, and I thought I needed a better way so that way you could reuse the bottles and move them around or add and change things. And I figured with the contact paper, it's the easiest way not to have to cut a table up or a bench or an old um, uh, Victorian little side table to make your bottles light up or try and put lights inside with water and electricity. Not going to work. So let's go take all this stuff out to the garage. I'm going to hang the shelf up on the wall. I've got a cleat waiting for it that I built. Um, we'll put all the potions on, we'll light it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I got a cleat I built at the same time I built the shelf. I got a couple little um, roll bar tabs up there uh, to keep the shelf from sliding forward because I knew weight was going to be an issue with glass and um, all the weight of the fog juice inside the potion bottles. So I thought ahead a little bit. I got a bunch of different notches in the back for the power cord to come out. Uh, any side I want. All right, she's where she's got to be. Let's go. Uh, I'll go grab the glass. I'll grab the potions. We'll put it back. We'll get everything set up, and then we'll turn the shelf on and see what everything turned out to look like. All right, the shelf's hung. And drop in the glass. We're good to go. We're going to have to move this ram's head. Let's go get some potion bottles. Okay, sorry about that. Phone died. So I got all the potions put up. Everything's sitting on top of the little space that I carved out with the razor blade. 
Uh, come, on, come a couple of pieces that I had laying around on the little hooks that I had on the shelf. Let's kill the lights, turn this thing on, and see what it looks like. comes the magic. So that's it folks. That's my shelf. I gotta put a little piece of felt behind here because I can see a little light coming to the wall. My garage door is a little garage wall is a little uneven so it's probably in the drywall but everything lights up from underneath. You can rearrange it how you want. You don't have to cut up any tables. And you can move your display around year after year so it's not the same way and it's not locked down to uh, to just straight cuts out of a table or something. So that's my shelf. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, give me a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.